uh, as you can see behind us here on the big Huge screen. Stick. Starts it off with a fumble right here off the rip. Who was that number 45? Oh, that's, that's the 10 cap hole. Get production out of that guy. 75 speed, yes. 75 strength for 10 cap. I mean, anytime you get that type of production in salary cap, talk to him about salary cap. It's a, it's a different mode. Yeah, it's a completely different mode because it's really the stars and scrubs mentality when it comes to it. You, you have to find different spots to put different guys. Sometimes you have to tank different spots on your field. You have to tank different positions depending on what's most important for you. So if – for example, outside outside linebacker, for example, you might not feel like it's, it's that important. He has his right outside linebacker as, uh, I always mess up his name, Olakon, or that's what I call him, Olakon. Uh, the right out linebacker from the Falcons, he is 14 cap, 14 cap gold card. He's, he's not that great of a card. However, he gets it done. You have to sacrifice in certain spots to make to maximize the spots that are most important for you. Now, you see, uh, looking at early, this is our bounty matchup between Joke and VTech. Again, $1,000 Blitz Cash sponsored by Rocket Mortgage will go to whoever can beat Joke tonight in the tournament. If Joke goes on and repeats, he was our winner last week, he'll pocket his own bounty as well as the $1,000 prize that we have every week here on Friday Night Football. Second down and 10 coming up here for Joke. Running a little bit of a different offense here this week, Bugs. Uh, seeing him in the bunch is a little bit unique. Oh, yeah. He's, he's in that special gun bunch formation. Doesn't get much better than this. Looks like he has John, John New Smith at tight end. A lot of guys have been using him. He's a 15-cap tight end. That's another spot that people typically tank unless they're running like a, a run-heavy formation where they need tight ends to maximize the passing game as well. Third down and eight. Back to pack it, pass is Rodgers, and he's going to go over the middle. Low ball. Marvin Harrison is going to move the chains. Now, you guys are probably wondering in the chat, we do have giveaways on deck throughout the cast tonight, and we're going to be giving away five, five of the Mutt 10 item that just came in, that 10th anniversary. This is a big one that just came in. A lot of people asked for this guy for years, Bugs. It is going to be Troy Polamalu returning to Madden Ultimate Team. Man, that car right there. Just, I know there's been a lot of excitement. I've been seeing, you know, I don't know much about Mutt, but I do know that the community has been clamoring for Palomalu and the fact that he's finally in the game. I'm sure you guys are excited about it. Me personally, I, I wish he would be able to get um, Enforcer. However, I know people are excited about it just from the, the simple fact that we haven't had a Troy Palomalu in the game. Yeah, strong safety is a very deep position. You guys have, obviously, the, the Tillman is your master item. You've got... Jamal Adams with the enforcer. Ed Reed just came out a couple weeks back, even though I, I, I feel like he's a free safety. He was when he played in the NFL, but mm -hmm. he's a strong safety in Mutt. Now you get Polamalu to the mix. A uh, lot of great strong safeties in the game. Third down and 10. Rodgers all the way back to pass. He's going to throw that corner out. Oh, and he didn't keep two feet in. That was a risky throw right there, Bugs. Oh, very, very risky throw right there to take that chance. You're never going to make that throw that late down the field. It's just not, it's not worth the risk. If, if VTech gets one of those toe-tap animations, we have a turnover, and VTech, I'm sure, would have been happy. So that field goal's up and good. Boswell puts Joke out in front by three. Now, again, Joke did recover a fumble on VTech's first possession of the ball game. VTech uh, had that, and that give was uh, recovered by the 10-cap, Mike Hole. So Joke with the ball at half, three-point lead. That was important right there for VTech after that early turnover on his side of the field to hold the three, and now he goes back to work from his own 25. Little I form. Uh, this is not the H tight. You can tell by the fullback. Uh, if he's standing with the two point stance, it is the H formation. If they have their hand in the dirt, it's the regular I tight. Uh, and that could be kind of a tell. Some players, you know, you got to look at formations. And if you see a small tell, you'll know exactly what plays you have to respect and what plays you don't have to worry about. Yeah, oh, most definitely. When you have those different tells on the field, that's what you're looking for as a competitive Madden player. You're looking for every little detail that you can use to maximize your game, right? And so you want to make sure that you're no noticing all the little details. We got another fumble. No, that's going to be recovered. Tyreek Hill beats about three joke defenders back to the ball. Third down and four coming up. Yeah, it looks like he's in. He's either in the Patriots book or the Miami book. Yeah, it uh, has to be. Running split close, he has to be in Patriots or Miami playbook. Need to see a couple more things to be able to tell exactly which playbook he's in. Third down and four. Now luck across the field. He's going to find Tyreek Hill. He's going to move the chains across midfield to the joke 45 at first down. This Andrew Luck, uh, you see a lot of players going to him right now. He's got that uh, 
He's got the escape artist. Obviously, that's the big one. But there's a lot of quarterbacks in the game that have escape artists. It's something else that people like about that, Andrew Luck. It's that dash and dead eye. It's that ability to be able to run around like a madman with your quarterback and throw the ball on the run accurately. Anytime you have something like that, especially with the way this game is played, people are sending seven and eight people at you on a regular basis. So you need to be able to get away from that pressure. And so sometimes you don't you really don't have the time to, or the luxury to stop with your quarterback to stand in there and deliver a throw. So the fact that you can run and throw, it makes it so much better. Here's the give up the middle. Gail Sayers, nothing doing. Nice defense right there by Joke. And just like that, Canona, one of our OGs in the chat, comes in with five gifted subs. Let's give a shout out for Still Funky B, HB Stretch, Jay Bachman, 80, Stank Funk 74, Bass Ballin 09. Welcome to the squad. As well as another gifted sub, UC Superman 09 with the gifted sub to fourth quarter gaming. So much, uh, Thank you so much to you, uh, both of you, for the gifted subs. And then we also got Big Mer 23 coming in with the Twitch Prime. Tyreek Hill again, first down, down inside the red zone to the 14th. So V-Tech, much better drive here on his second possession. He's taking advantage of these crossing routes. He's really going all out on these deep routes. He just He's going with a streak and two crossers every rip. And he's really not, he really doesn't have a dump off pass. So I'm assuming that his escape artist ability is really kind of, he's utilizing that as his check down for him. Sayers to the outside, Jukes back to the inside, but great defense once again here by Joe Fork. Touches for Sayers already in the first half. No yards to speak of. Ryan Shazier's second tackle of the ballgame brings up second down and 12. Back to the split close. You see in that backfield, that is Lee Smith, the tight end. That's another minimum cap player. That's a player you really don't have to worry about in that spot. Yeah, you don't have to worry about that guy at all. He's just a 10 cap gold car that he's utilizing just to maximize his team camps or whatever chemistries that he's choosing to have on his field, whether it's play fake, go deep, West Coast, zone run, different stuff like that. Just want to give a, another shout out. Fatty4472 has extended their tier one sub through January. So it looks like he's already re up through uh, the end of the new year, uh, well, into the new year, basically. So thank you so much, Fatty. Wow. Shout out, shout out to Fatty. He, had, he subbed before the stream actually even started. I gave him a shout out in the chat and he just went on and extended it all the way through to January. If you guys are new viewers to the stream tonight, please press one in the chat. Shoutouts to 3,100 of you guys hanging out with us as we have Friday Night Football number 38, sponsored by Rocket Mortgage, our new sponsor, new member of the Mutthead family here. Uh, they came on board here just uh, about the start of the month, and uh, they've been a, a great sponsor for us. If you guys are in the market for a, a new home, uh, you know, even if you're not right now, you will be at some point in your life. Make sure you guys consider Rocket Mortgage. They're dedicated to taking all those tough aspects of buying a new home and uh, making that easy on you. You know you're, you're about to be in the market yourself, folks. Yeah, most definitely. Anytime you have a resource like Rocket Mortgage where you can limit the stresses of buying a home, that that's always something that you want to take advantage of. So shout out to Rocket Mortgage just for joining the Madden community and then also creating a, an awesome resource like their, like what they have over there for guys, for people like me to just be able to focus on my man cave, focus on my streaming room, and all that stuff like that. First down and goal here for VTech. Two-minute warning already here in the first half. Here's the give up the middle. Gail Sayers bounces off a tackle. That was Shazier. And I'm assuming that that Shazier has secure tackler or unfake. I don't know, what, or tackle supreme. I don't think anyone would just put just unfakeable on their linebacker. Not in salary cap. That's not a popular thing. It's possible, but I don't think that's what Joe has out there. Single back ace close now. Marquise Hollywood Brown in motion to the wide side of the field, creating a twins look. Here's a stretch to the wide side, and Sayers, again, can't get the edge. Great defense once again by Joke, and he'll burn a timeout. Vitek's going to have to show that he has some red zone offense right now. It's not, look, it's not looking too good. Right now it looks like Vitek hasn't really come up with an offense in the red zone that he can really take advantage of what the defense is going to give him. Split close formation. This is a good red zone play. You always got to respect the post in the middle of the field. Joke all over it with the user. Going to go underneath. Low ball. Now decision time here. It's going to be fourth down and goal from the two. Keep in mind, Joke does have ball at half. What's your call here, Boogs? I think you kick your three here. Unless you're at the one-yard line, I think you kick your three. And it doesn't look like VTech has a play for the situation. So I definitely feel like he's just played a conservative route, play some defense. Again, $1,000 game. At Rocket Mortgage. 
We get that a home is more than a house. It's your escape, your fortress, your arena. So we'll be here when you need us, handling house so you can do home. Rocket Mortgage, official mortgage lender of eSports. Now, joke on his next possession of the game. He did get three on his first possession off of the fumble by VTech. VTech held strong. Good defense there, but that was on a shorter field. We'll see what he does here back in the bunch. Again, we've seen Joke. He's uh, he's run kind of – he's been very multiple in Friday Night Football. We've seen him run the single back wing close flex. We've seen him base out of I form H tight. We've seen him mix in some strong H wing. He's won four Friday Night Footballs, and he does it differently every week, it seems. Yeah, he's, he's running a different offense each week, and the fact that he's been able to win so consistently – it just proves that Joke really is a top five player this year. He's somebody that needs to be respected, and he's also a, a huge threat in this club series tournament. He's somebody that you guys definitely need to keep your eyes on because he's looking really tough. The words of Boogs. You guys are watching Friday Night Football number 38. Zan here calling the action. Less than a minute to go here in our first round matchup between VTech and Joke. This bounty matchup worth $1,000 if VTech can defeat Joke. Second out of four. Great you defense take here. Off. You but there's no escape long. artist on that Rodgers. Yeah, but there's no escape artist. But it was so clear that he could, he probably could have got an extra four yards just off that scramble if he was scrambled a little bit earlier. 46 seconds left. Now, Joke with no timeouts remaining. So we'll see if he uses the sidelines, tries to uh, stop the clock here. Rodgers, three-man rush all day in the pocket. But I'll tell you what. Vitek's got the defense. He, he's done very well in coverage here. That's two plays in a row. Absolutely no one open for Joke. Oh, yeah, he's playing great defense so far against Joke in this gun bunch. Joke isn't looking too comfortable in the gun bunch as far as having the dots to, to really just move the ball with ease. Everything is really, it's really been a struggle fest so far. He's really had to make broken plays just like this here and get whatever he can get. That's Jonu Smith, and he's trying to get out of bounds. He's not going to get there. That's going to cost fast. him several seconds right there. Probably the last play that I have right here. Rodgers back to pass. Three-man rush. Five out on routes, but nobody open. It's going to go into coverage down the sideline. That's going to be broken up. Marshawn Lattimore on the pass breakup. And we got a 3-3 ball game at halftime. Again, we have other first-round matchups going on across Friday Night Football. Some pretty good ones. We got uh, some good names here tonight. Uh, Prodigy, Fitzmagic, Taylor Gang. Uh, it's Joff, who was number two on the salary cap leaderboard during the Club Series qualifiers. He's going to make his debut here in Friday Night Football tonight. Rage. Rage was playing some of the best Madden of players not named Joke. He's in tonight's yes. field. Yeah, he's been playing great the last few weeks. Honestly, he just ran up into one of his crewmates last week. That That's really what ended his run. Otherwise, I think he probably go, goes on to double and collect two thousand dollars right he uh he won friday night football number 36 and then unable to uh defeat his own crewmate last week and then joke was able to capitalize on that but yeah rage's defense has been on another level over the last few weeks and what better time than club series season this is the biggest tournament of the year you've seen all these players preparing and friday night football has been a great proving ground for these players to kind of test their metal and know what they need to work on for the club series as you talked about that huge prize pool for this event biggest tournament of the year yeah, the biggest tournament of the year, this is the tournament where people bring out everything. They bring out everything that they've been holding on to from the moment that the game released. You know, I have a few things in my back pocket that I still haven't shown and I still won't show until it's time that I, I feel like is most needed. However, everybody is taking this tournament super serious. It's the biggest tournament, $100,000 on the line. And even if you don't win the tournament, there's still a lot of money to be won, won in this tournament. We mentioned Fitzmagic. He did win his first round game 14-0 against Taylor Gaines. So Fitzmagic will move on to the second round. Second down and eight here for Joke. First possession of the second half, and that's Rodgers back to pass. Again, great defense once again by VTech. And that's one thing that VTech, VTech is kind of that, let's just call it what it is. He's, he's like the Chicago Bears of competitive Madden. He's always going to play strong defense, mm -hmm. but the offense is kind of struggle for him. He plays that ball control style. It's not always pretty. He's going to beat you if he can force you to turn the ball over. Yeah, most definitely. That's the style of play that he wants to have. He doesn't want to do anything risky. He wants to run the ball, play as smart as he possibly can, and really just manage the clock. We got fourth down and four here for Joke. Not looking super comfortable here in this bunch. I mean, you got to 
put this on tape. Uh, you're going into club series. You know that you're the hottest player in Madden going right now. You have to show the community that you know you can pass. Put some tape out there on something other than a primary offense. This is something we've talked about. Is we have fourth and four screaming, and he's going to go over the middle in that Unfortunate ball. Unfortunate animation right there. VTech has life. Honestly, right there, he he kind of got his get back from the fumble. He probably felt like he got a little cheated on his fumble, and now he just had an unfortunate play go against Joke. Now he's in position. Does he take advantage of it? That's the real question here. Really heavy blitz right there from VTech. Double pressure off the edge. He did make the right read, Joke, over the middle through the drag. You have to chuck it up. I'm pretty sure he got an offside there. Oh, we got a holding oh, yeah, call. Holding. Ah. Well, that's probably why he didn't chuck it up. He knew it was holding. He made a mistake. He was down <laughs> in the red zone. He had fourth down and two with about 15 seconds left in the first half. He went on aggressive the play before. He forgot about it over halftime. Gotcha. Yeah, I do that all the time. That's why I hate turning on that aggressive because I always forget about it. And so anytime you forget about it, you always run the risk of costing yourself 10 yards. First and 19 now is luck. Oh, he just got that pass out. And here's the jukebox. Sayers down the sideline. He's going to pick up a first down and a shoelace tackle right there by Adrian Amos Jr. V Tech in good position right here. He's, he's in field goal range. This is what you got to do right here. He's got the dashing dead eye. He takes his check downs, uses luck to kind of move the pocket, find the open receivers. It's very, very tough to pass from the pocket in this game. Oh, it's super tough. I want to see him take advantage of this. Um What's the running back name again? I'm sorry. Gil, Gil Sayers. Sayers. So I want to see him take advantage of Gil Sayers. That's his best player on the field right now, other than Andrew Luck. So I want to see him get the ball in Gil's hands, let, let Gil make some plays, just like he made on that first and 19. Get him the ball in open field, juke, spin. I don't know if he has evasive or just juke box. But no matter what, just get the ball in his hands. Now, first and goal here for VTech. Unable to, to uh, put it in from about this far on his last drive, but this time Tyreek Hill playing the tailback, dot that eye for a touchdown, and now VTech out in front in this $1,000 bounty match. That's big, Boogs. Uh, you know, Joke has not looked good on offense so far. No, no, not at all. He's, he's really been struggling. He's been trying to just create plays out of nothing so far. He really hasn't had open plays, open receivers on the field. He's been really trying to go with deep corner, the play with this deep skinny pose, a deep end route, a corner route in a flat, and it really hasn't been there. VTech has done a great job of just taking advantage, taking away everything that he wants to go to, and then Joke has just really had broken plays. You guys are looking at the brand new studio here in Huntsville, Alabama, Mutthead Studio, home of Friday Night Football. Brand new studio that we just put in here this week. This is what we've been building towards. This is why we were doing the remote cast from home as they put this in. Uh, really thrilled to bring this to you guys. It, it is you guys that made this possible. Uh, we really appreciate you guys. And, uh, you know, the, it, this is only the beginning. Yeah, it's honestly, it's amazing. Like I said, at the beginning of the broadcast, this is not a green screen behind me. This is a 15... 15 foot, I almost said 15 inch, 15 foot <laughs> video wall is super dope. I'm excited about it. Honestly, I really don't even know what to say. This is probably my, other than FNF1, this is my, the most nervous I've been for an FNF. You know, it's funny. I said the same thing to you before the broadcast. I said, you know, we've done this. I, you and I have casted probably 20 of these together. Yeah. And this is probably the most nervous I've been to cast one since FNF2 which you casted FNF1 by yourself. Yeah. I joined you on the desk the following week. That's the most nervous I've ever been to cast Madden. This is the second. And honestly, it might, I might even be more nervous because there's this monstrosity of a board behind us. Yeah, I know, 15 right? 15-foot <laughs> LED wall. Yeah, and then yesterday I had to go and make sure I got my face right when I got my hair cut, <laughs> make sure my lineup was right. I had to make sure I was looking good to open up and unveil the studio. I got, and then now, as you guys can see, there's going to be more shots coming at us. I got to make sure I'm looking right. I got to make sure we, Will gets me on my right angle. I need to go practice this. I need to have my wife get the camera out so I can practice my angles and make sure I'm looking good for the people. First down and 10 here for Joke. He's not looked very good here in this bunch here tonight on FNF 38, but just trying to grit his way through it. Rogers, again, another check down the flat. That's going to be tough living. Jabril Peppers, that's another most feared item there. Again, we talked about the strong safeties. Polo Malu comes into the game today. I forgot about Jabril Peppers. That's a that's a great salary cap item. A lot of guys love that strong safety. Yeah, he's really good. Um, Skimbo, Taylor Gang, and Dubby were singing his praises to me, telling me, you know, if I'm going to go with it, because I'm using more budget safeties out there, and they were saying, we'll try Jabril Peppers. You can still get Tackle Supreme or 
secure tackler, one of those things on that on that safety there. And so they were telling me to go ahead and try him. Only thing that I don't like about him is that his zone isn't too high, so he isn't going to react and make plays the way that other safeties would with higher zone. Third down and five coming up. We're already in the fourth quarter. You can put your fours up in the chat. Again, VTech trying to win this $1,000. He's going to need a stop right here and hopefully uh, can grind some clock if, if he wants to take home that money. That's going to be Marvin Harrison. Nice dot right there by Joke. Starting to settle in a little bit. It was ugly to start the ball game. 12 of 17 now, but still 85 yards. VTech's keeping the ball in front of him. Yeah, he's, he's doing a good job right here. If you're VTech, Joke hasn't shown you the ability to really get his offense going in this bunch. Just don't give up a touchdown. It doesn't matter. You don't have to risk it. You don't have to do anything too crazy to try to make a play defensively. Just don't do anything crazy. Make him score a touchdown. Make him show you the dots. Once you do that, you're good. Because then if you're up with ball 10-6, I mean, that's a great position for you if you're VTech. Another carry for Bo Jackson. Five rushes, zero yards for Bo Jackson here with Joke as he's really struggling to get this game going pass first. Over the middle, nice. Mesh, mesh post, that's going to be incomplete. Troy Apke with the hit stick. Troy Apke is that guy. He had an interception in the game last week in real life. As a result, he gets a new Team of the Week item, 90 speed. And there's players out there that say this Apke is a goon in Mud Unlimited. So you know that he's going to produce for you on the field in salary cap. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Apke is just, since he got in the league, he's really been a staple in Madden just with the plays that he makes. To actually see him make a play in real life because we were using him all year last year. But for him to actually make a play in real life, that was kind of cool to see. And now he actually has an upgraded car. Last year, he never got an upgraded car. He just had that base silver. So Joke's going to go ahead and bring out the field goal unit as he's struggling to move the ball down here in the red zone. This will be Boswell from 34, and that's going to split the uprights, making it the 10-6 ball game that you talked about. Now it's time to see if VTech has a four-minute drill in him here. As uh, you talked about, this is a spot uh, a lot of players can struggle in this spot. There's a little bit more added pressure. You're, you're feeling like, okay, I've got the lead, but I almost feel like I have to go conservative and try to get this clock down to zero. Yeah, most definitely. And then for me, at being a passer, VTech, I feel like he loves this this situation because he's a runner he's going to run the ball you see he's going to i form tight he's going straight to the to the big hogs on the field he got look like tyreek hill on at tight end right now so he's going to mix in the threat at least of a pass but this is the situation that he he's looking for he wants to be able to run the ball and do different things like that here is the i form type and that is shazir living in the backfield can look at that stat line for gail sayers nine rushes negative three yards so while jokes running a different offense the same defense that we've become accustomed to with him is showing up tonight and that defense is known for being the best run defense in the community yeah that that defense has really been stopping the run especially against those run heavy sets like i form tight the strong strong h wing strong i wing stuff like that back to pass is luck and he's going to roll out to his right and he's fortunate that he didn't cough that ball up as that was Shazir on that coverage sack. Might have gotten back to the original line of scrimmage, but it will be third down and 12. And Vitek is, he's going to have to, he's going to have to snap this ball. You could just tell just barely the play clock is like a microsecond in yep. front of the game clock. He's going to have to snap the ball. Wasn't, I'm not a fan of the call anyway. I think he should have ran the ball again. Maybe find a different formation to run the ball out of that you haven't shown jokes so far. And, and then see what you can get going versus passing the ball. So right there, he burns the timeout. Maybe he wasn't sure which clock was in front, and it forced him to use that timeout. We'll see if that comes back to bite him late, later. He's got to convert this here to keep the ball from going back to joke at the two-minute warning. Third and 12, Ross, Brown, and Tyreek Hill at receiver for VTech. Luck scrambling out to the left. Got a crosser, going to hit the backside Ooh. dig, and that's John Ross. Huge first down conversion for VTech. Might that have been worth $1,000, Bugs? It just might have been. It looked like Joke was going to break on the ball then. I don't know what made him hesitate because once he came back for it, that route was – he was never going to get back to that crosser. At that point, you just have to commit to the underneath route that he had on the backside and just go for the pick there. At the very least, get a drop pick. You don't want to give up a completion. It's worth mentioning that out of this is our this is our fourth week with the bounty or third week now I'm trying to remember. I think th this is week four. This, this is week, week four. four with our bounty. The previous three weeks, two of those times, the first round, 
is when we saw that bounty go off the board. So there's a lot of extra pressure on the champion to repeat. And uh, we've seen some great players go down early. Clef the God, in fact, was our first bounty, and he went down right away to ADOT. Yeah, he went down right away to ADOT. And then week two, who lost in the first round? I forgot. Uh, the next week, that would have been Rage, right? No. Rage and Jaybird? R Ray no, Jaybird beat... Saint. Saint. Yeah, you're right. Jaybird beat Saint. And then this past week, Rage lost to his crewmate, and that was like round Yeah, that three. was round like three or four. Yeah, and he lost to Prodigy. So now first down in 10, 144 to go. Jokely with one timeout left, so VTech should be keeping this ball on the ground. And here's Sayers. He's going to finally bust free 20. 15, 10. He's going to lay down. That's GG's in the chat. That's going to do it. That's $1,000 for in the chat. Tony Montagnino is going to take home the $1,000 Blitz